All right, guys, so it's time to put some mulch down. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for mulching your beds. Uh, this year, I'm gonna start right here because you've probably seen a lot of my videos where it looks all outgrown and crazy and weedy because this is usually the last spot that I mulch and the last spot that I do anything with. So this year, it's gonna be different. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is edge your beds. Now, the, these beds in the backyard, they don't have uh, brick borders or anything like that. So I like the old fashioned, uh, use a, a half moon shovel and edge it that way. It, you can buy the mechanical ones and some of them will do a great job, but for my size yard, for a homeowner, this is going to get you the best results. You know, basically a, a stick edger going blow, blowing through it. Yeah, it does the job, but it, it doesn't look as nice. All right, so I'm gonna show you a trick here. Now, hopefully this shows up in the camera. I uh, was way off on that line, so pretty bad if I were to keep going. Check this out. Just kinda of go like this, push it back. Obviously, this early in the season, it's gonna start growing back soon anyways. And, you know, it's not the prettiest site. Kind of embarrassing, but hey, at least I did it back here and you can fix it pretty easily, it'll fill in. All right, so how do you prevent doing that mistake? Well, you, gotta, you could use string, but you just gotta pay more attention. I was trying to make sure I was gonna get in the shot and I wasn't paying attention to where the line was so that was my mistake but what we'll do here set this up now you can see it should be like about here and go straight this way all right that's looking a lot better i also have an edge the back here probably a year or two so i don't have the clean edge you'll see on the rest of the yard this actually goes a lot quicker because I'm just cleaning up an existing edge, not creating an edge like this. Sometimes you get chunks of roots like this. You can cut it here, cut it here, you're trying to create a channel here. So you can see it's nice and flat. I don't know if you noticed, but with this rake, you can go right over plants, get the stuff in between, no problem. But you wanna to try to get it as level as possible because when you're putting the mulch down, if you got piles of junk in there, um, it's not gonna look good. I hope you see how much easier it is since I'm just following the edge that's already there. 
this stuff here is not going to be compact like it was back there. So way easier to do. So if you're clearing big chunks like this, get rid of them because they will grow, you know, grass. All right guys, so you can see a lot of mulch is still here from uh, last year. I think what happened is we ran out of mulch about here and then those two areas didn't get very much. But this year I'm doing the backyard first. Um, we got some rocks, we got some hose action. So we'll get those out of the way first. Whoa, baby. See, this is how grass spreads. Kentucky bluegrass rhizomes. So that's why you want that gap. This didn't have the gap, so it spread right through. Because I want you to scoop the pile there into the wheelbarrow. Yeah. yeah. Right, guys. So now it's time for the mulch. So you can see my wife fighting back there. She likes to do it by the bag. I like to do it by the delivery. So we both get to do it the way we both like to do it. Um, technically, yes, you can save money by having it delivered. Uh, that's my preferred way, and I'll show you why in a little bit, but um, if you do it by the bag, the price, it's not crazy more. It is more convenient. I know some pros will go by the bag and do it that way anyways, uh, but personally, I prefer getting it delivered in one big dump. So the thing, about bulk mulch is you gotta have the right tools. I'll show you a couple tools here. You got the typical shovel, you got a pitchfork, then you got a better pitchfork with a longer handle. Now there's like a million different types of pitchforks and sizes and all that stuff, but what you're looking for is distance and thin tines. So when you're trying to dig into the, the pile with this, you can do it, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot more work than doing something like this because this is just poking some holes through and then you're filling it up. But that's still kind of small. You look, there's not really a curve to it. When you look at this one, it's much bigger. It's got a nice curve to it. That's gonna help you get some bigger scoops. Uh, there are ones that are spaced out even more that have a bigger scoop. This one also has a longer handle, so it's gonna be easier to deal with those with the short ones you're gonna break your your back with this so so that's the first tip the second tip is to have a good wheelbarrow so previously we used that four wheeled one which is fine but the four wheeled one uh, you just can't fit it fit as much and it's harder to dump
So I'm totally out of shape and that was no problem at all. Um, I know somebody's gonna comment about me doing this over the grass. Well, it's my house, I can do it. <laughs> if you're doing a client's yard, obviously you wouldn't do it over their lawn, but I'm gonna clean it up after anyways and I'll show you guys how. So, you know what? Just for this, watch. Oops, oh no. So at the end, I'll show you how to clean it up. If you're not sure how big of a piles you should do, just do a one pile, spread it around and see. Um, I feel like every year I do this, I get a little rusty and like, okay, how much do I need? And then after a couple scoops, you can just start plopping piles everywhere. Um, but this is, this is the reason right here, I'm gonna show you why I like doing it this way. So I'm just gonna use my hands to go like that. So like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Oh my knee. Ouch. Pop my knee. <laughs> So you can see I did that whole wheelbarrow, which is like two or three bags and one, phew, it's a huge time saver. Now, what I'm gonna do is the whole area that I'm gonna cover with mulch like this by hand, yes, there's bumps and stuff, but we'll go over it with the rake after, smooth it all out. Right now, it's just about trying to get an even application everywhere. I don't do the perfection stage until I've put all the mulch down. All right, so we're just spreading it around. You're gonna get dirty. You don't wanna like fill up this gap. You don't wanna leave it empty either. You wanna get a little bit. Spread it around. Nice. If you see any weeds, toss them over to that pile. So shout out to uh, Greg for teaching me the like that move. Um, it's really helpful as you spread it, say like that. It just helps where, you know, it spreads it out better. Guys, buy the merch. Guys, buy the merch. Guys, make sure to buy the merch. Um, yeah. I got this for my birthday, so. Yay. It's really comfortable. I love hoodies, so this is perfect. Except it's weird because people are reading my shirt and they're like, who's grass daddy? And it's kind of weird to explain it. But go um, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Vanessa space joy space L. And like all my videos too. See, doesn't it work better? Not really. It just gets annoying. Oh, it won't even. No, it does. Like that, like that, like that. Come on, dig your hands in. No, I think. It's just mulch. It's not even dirt. It's mulch. I know. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram at BL Ballet. I am at like almost 1,200 followers, so you know. <laughs> oh.
why did you make my dad famous? I don't know. I was seeing if it was recording. Wait, where, where am I putting this? Over there. Thank you. So with this type of rake, if you need to move piles around, you can use this side. Be very gentle. If you want to smooth it, use this. So I'll demonstrate right here. You can see there's a high point. And so you can go with this, try to move it a little bit. And then after, I'm going to smooth it out like this, try to hide any footprints. All right, so after doing that, you can see this spot here. Ah, right here, we're going to need a little bit more. In that area, you're going to need a little bit more, so I'll just toss them on there. You can also use the pitchfork if you want to sprinkle some on. Diggy, can you get the rocks out of here? All right, so when you're doing along the house, when you do the cleanups time with the rake, you wanna try and make sure it's nice and even against the house. You wanna keep a space between any wood shingles or whatnot and the, the mulch. You want that space to be uniform. So if there's a slope, you want it to be with the slope at the same, you know, nice uh, even slope. If it's flat like this, you wanna to try to make it as flat as possible because those are the details people will notice inside the piles you can't really tell when it's perfectly even or not but against the house you definitely can see it my OCD could get the better of me I could be at this all day trying to make it perfect but you know I'm gonna say this this is fine it's okay I won't get a hundred thousand comments about how terrible of a job it is. All right, so when you're cleaning up the edges with a blower, be very careful. The convenience of the electric, you do get a lot more control. But a backpack blower in this instance, you could easily destroy your mulch and I mean you can even see I got some old mulch that blew onto the top so you gotta be careful with that. We'll go clean up the front a bit.
All right, so maybe maybe we did order enough. The camera just said something. Zero minute? I don't know what that means. Am I out of recording time? Who knows? Either way, this is Grass Daddy signing off. Um, my memory card's in, so it's definitely recording. Look how nice it is. Did it myself. The kids help. Can't even see it. Looks great. Way cheaper than doing hiring someone. You guys can do this stuff. I'm not anybody special. If you like my videos, you'll love my website, grassdaddy.net. The lawn care planner tool will download the local weather reports every morning and build a lawn care plan catered to your area. The lawn care journal allows you to keep track of what you put down, when you put it down, so there's no more guessing or over or under applying any products. We also have a lawn of the week contest. Every week a winner gets a Grass Daddy t-shirt. And last but not least, there are application calculators and articles to help you identify and tackle problems in the lawn. So check it out, it's completely free, it's grassdaddy.net.